Okay, so making your own homemade stuffing doesn't have to be difficult. And with my recipe, we throw in some mixed seeds and some sausage meat to make it really tasty. So, here's how to make it. And for the ingredients you'll need, 125 grams of fresh breadcrumbs, 150 grams of pork sausage meat, 50 grams of mixed seeds, one egg, one medium onion, one tablespoon of fresh sage, and one knob of butter. And that's enough to make 12 stuffing balls. So, to start with, you need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Then, we need to prepare the onion, so slice each end off, peel it, cut it in half, and then finely chop. Then, set your chopped onion aside. Next, you need to get your egg, so crack it into a bowl and then briefly beat it with a fork. Next, get your fresh sage and break off about one tablespoon worth of leaves, and then finely chop with a sharp knife. You now need to get yourself a dish or a bowl which is big enough to hold all of the ingredients. Then throw in your chopped sage, onions and about a third of the mixed seeds. Finally, pour in all of your breadcrumbs and then briefly mix with a fork until all of the ingredients are combined. Now get the egg that you beat up earlier, pour it into the breadcrumbs and then briefly mix again. You now need to get your 150 grams of pork sausage meat and the knob of butter. Crumble it into the bowl and then mix it in using either a fork or a spoon or I find it easier to use my hands. Now, in order to roll the stuffing out into balls and to make sure it doesn't dry out when it's in the oven, we need to gradually start adding some water. So, slowly start pouring some water into the mixture while stirring in between. When the mixture is a little bit sticky, you're happy it can hold its shape and it looks something like this, we're then nearly ready to put it in the oven. So, get yourself a baking tray and then line it with some greaseproof or parchment paper. So we've made enough stuffing here to make 12 balls. So separate the mixture out into 12, then roll the balls out in between the palms of your hand and then lay them out on the greaseproof paper. When you're happy, you then need to get your remaining mixed seeds that you didn't use earlier and then sprinkle them onto your pieces of stuffing. So, these babies are now ready for the oven. Stick them in on 180 degrees for between 25 and 35 minutes or until they've just started to turn golden and crisp. When the stuffing looks like it's done and that they're cooked to perfection, it's now time to take them out of the oven. So, my mixed seed stuffing balls go great with your Sunday lunch or they're even better if you want to make something extra special for your Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner. And you can check out even more of my recipes by clicking on one of the videos coming up on your screen.